let me tell you a little story about today. So where I live, they have a little festival going on, okay, that they do yearly. So the yearly festival always, it's always, you know, really crowded, really, you know, a lot of people around. So <laughs> I, where I live, there isn't a lot of places. My hair looks a mess. There isn't a lot of places to park, first of all. So where I parked my car, it was already a struggle to even find that parking space. Because my complex doesn't really have a, um, you know, like a, um, a parking lot area. Because where I live, it's kind of like real, like, hobo chic, real bohemian kind of like. So a lot of the apartments have, uh, were once were um, houses and were made into um, apartment complexes. So I don't really have a place where it's, you know, a great big parking lot. So I get home today around. Um, like two. Um, just to find out that someone was parked in my parking spot. And yes, I understand. Yes, I understand that it's a festival going on. But the rage that I had when I found that someone was parked in my parking spot, I felt like that was the ultimate disrespect. Like, you know, not that they knew that was my parking space. I don't think they knew. But the way and where my parking space is set up, it's kind of like in a back alley where, like, the average person doesn't drive down this way and would know that, oh, this is someone's parking spot. Let me park here. Like, it, it's not really something that someone should even have drove down here and found my space to park in. Because that is my space, okay? That is where I park my car. So, I have to drive all around to find somewhere to park and where I'm parked I'm not even supposed to park there so now I have to move my car okay to find I mean to go back to my parking space that they better be up and gone from so we about to go see if my parking space is gone you know still it better not be but they better go ahead and move them and need to recognize who parking space this is this is Megan here okay well, we don't have that. We don't tolerate disrespect in my parking space like that. And it's a big car. My car is a nice, small, compact car. I don't take up a lot of space, but the nerve to park your big SUV-like car in my parking space. That is my parking space. It's the ultimate disrespect when someone parks in your parking space. Whether you have a real official parking lot. Or a little space that you park in. It's just the. It's the principle. My attitude is so real. I just know that. They better be gone. Or you see this face. Things will happen. Don't park in my parking space. Like you're crazy. Because what? I might get crazy too. So I get out here, and mind you, it's been at least a good three hours. I, yes, I understand it's a festival going on, but I don't understand why they had to pick my parking space out of all of the other ones around here. <coughs> it's hot in here. I got in my car just to find out that this car is still over here. I would show you where it's parked, but I don't want people knowing where I live. Someone might figure it out. I mean, oh, you live over here and be trying to oh, come up and show them my front doorstep. Not that I'm saying you would, but, you know, you got to be careful out there because people are really crazy. <laughs> but you're still parked here, girl. With your Lexus or whatever this is. What are those, you know, they're not really SUVs and they're not really vans. What are those things? What are they called? I know they created a new word like sports activity activity vehicle. I think that's what they're called or what they're described as now. But it's not a van and it's not an SUV. And it's not quite big as an SUV. And it's not quite as small as a van. Whatever. But <sighs> knowing that you have a parking space, you people need to understand that the value of a parking space is very high here in Southern California. Depending on where you live. Like if you live in you know, um, 
if you live in kind of like, you know, Hollywood area, um, any kind of beachy areas, par- finding a parking space is very hard to find. I hate parking. That is what I, I think that's one of the things I absolutely dislike about L.A. is the parking situation. Because it's so hard to find parking, even when you go to events or anything, $20 to park somewhere for three hours. Girl. But the way I'm feeling right now, I want to write them a nice note. But, you know, I'm going to be nice today because just to understand the circumstances. that it, Yes, it's a festival going on, but I want my parking space. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I want my parking space. I like my things to be how they are when I come home and park. Not only is it just because it's not only just I'm tripping over parking space. Safety. Okay. I am a very young, you know, petite woman, and I need my parking space to be always where it is for safety precautions and reasoning. I can't walk all far. You know, that's why I like this parking space, and it was approved for me, because I had to get the parking space I have approved. They're just going to come up here and just, you know, abduct my parking space and take it. Okay, I'm going to stop ranting. I wonder these, I hope these are the guys. I hope this is their car that's walking up. But I don't think that's them. Having a grand old time at the festival and I'm up here waiting for you to go so I can get my parking space back. Because the thing is, this is a good parking space that I have over here. And I can't let it go empty for too long because people need to recognize and know. I'm sure people around here know that this is my parking space. So this has to be somebody new. But this area where these homes and apartments are, these aren't really, this isn't somewhere you would normally say, oh, let me park my car here or let me drive down here. This isn't like a regular street. This is like very, you know, this is a very random kind of alley that somebody wouldn't think to drive down. That's why I'm a little pissed off. It's got an Albertsons. Albertsons, it's your store. I should probably get me some gas. <laughs> Before I be up here stranded, pushing my vehicle. I always do that, though. I don't really go far, so I'm like, why well, I need to fill up my gas tank for? Now I'm in the grocery store to waste some time since these people don't want to move from my parking space. Eat. I want to make a salad, um, but... I'm not seeing what I need up in here. Get me some bananas because I love me some bananas. And I absolutely love Albertsons fruits, produce, okay? Their honeydew is the bomb. Ever since I feel like I've gotten older, well, I'm not old, but you know, older. I like honeydew now. I didn't, I never really used to dig honeydew, but I love me some honeydew now. This is the one I always normally get, the little mixed fruit with the strawberries, pineapples, cantaloupe, and some honeydew. Let's see what else they got going on over here. What is new? What is this? Some, uh, what is that? See, uh, what? Some, uh, what's these nectarines? What is that orange citrus thing? I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's necessarily an orange or what. A nectarine, probably. Done at Albertsons. You know, when you're walking out, you always got to look around. And know your surroundings. And look around your car. Make sure no one's just hiding out. I'm ready to jump out and get you. <laughs> so we're on our way. All I know is by the time I get home, I hope my parking space is open and that guy or whoever she is, he is, her is gone because I want to park in my space now. Like I was nice before, but now I'm starting to really get irritated. Strange fruit. Something strange happened. From the popping trees. I got my parking space back. <laughs> so I went to the grocery store, came back, 
And my parking space was back, like boom, pow. So, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy now. I have nothing to say. But smiles. So, yeah, I guess I can go ahead and chill now. Oh.